Hi. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys. It's been a, like a really long time since I've been live. Um, I just posted, um, my hands are crazy. I just posted the video with well, a link to the video, the how-to video of, um, me turning the desk into nightstands. Um, I don't know why Facebook is being weird and it's not showing up when I see it. So if you guys don't see it, um, just let me know and I'll post it up. So anyways, today I am painting my shelving unit that I'm going to be putting all my DIY paint into. And I decided that I wanted to do something super fun. And so I painted a geode on my thing. Let me, uh, all my stuff is sort of like in these cubbies. So check it out. Bam, look at that geode freaking cool huh and I got this cool effect going not really sure what I'm doing with it but I figured if you guys want to paint with me since it's been a long time since I've painted been kind of just all about pushing stuff out so I'm gonna flip it over but as you can see I got um, a lot of different colors all of this is in DIY paint colors um, and then I put glitter and gold leafing on it, which is all super easy. It was just to sort of add that um, texture that geos typically have. So that's what we're gonna do on this other side. Ah! Oh, did you see that? No, probably not, but this is the inside. Isn't it cool? Yeah, that's all. this is all my little station right now, but this is where my paint will be. Got this cool mirror thing in the back. I painted it, did a stencil and stuff, so. Anywho. Let's do this thing. Let's move you right there. So I was thinking instead of doing it on the corner, maybe I'll do it like right here. Maybe in the middle, not sure. What do you guys think? Middle, corner. Kind of seeing two on this side, maybe like one right here, and then like maybe one here. And they kind of can join together. Let's go with that. So, all my stuff is back here. So the first thing is we're gonna do, uh, I like to work outside in. So I have my paints on this thing cause I'm using this, call it the mustache brush. The mustache brush. Um, and this is Bohemian Blue and Hey Sailor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it like this and then paint the outline that I'm working with. So if I want one kind of here, then I want the outside to be kind of up here. So this is what it is. And the reason why I don't like painting with this brush is because it's just so dang stiff. Sometimes it makes my life hard. So for purposes right now, I'm just going to get the just of the outline. Kind of like that. Can you kind of see it? Pushed it down. There you go. Um, as I move in my to my booth. Oh shoot! Other way. There we go. That's all right. The first layer. It'll be okay. I moved into my, moving into my booth this Sunday, hopefully. So, I'm 
Bam. So I gotta get this thing ready, and I decided that I wanted to do something that really, you know, showcase the colors, um, and a lot of like, so maybe some of my own technique, um, for people to kind of see, because as they come into my booth, they're gonna be wondering what the heck this paint is, and if they see that this is that paint, you know, it's all about thinking outside the box. So this is why I'm gonna be doing this geode effect on it. First off, I'm obsessed with geodes. I don't know how everybody else is, but like the like obsessed, I'm just all around obsessed. I think that's partly why I got into doing epoxy because I could do the geode with epoxy. Cool. So now that we got the outside layer on that one done, I think I'm gonna do the outside layer on this one. I just want this one to kind of touch. So I'm thinking, I don't know. Bam. Outside layer sort of done. I hate this brush. It's my mustache brush. Yeah, hate it. But I'm almost out of this paint anyway. So just gonna get the outline so then I know kind of where everything's gonna go. Then next, I'm going to do blue iris and old 57. Um, let's see, I'm out of the blue iris on my paint. There we go. Blue iris. going next on the list it is getting so cold and I don't know why I can't paint with a jacket on I might have to make this a short live because I am freezing. Bam, blue iris in. Not even gonna change the brush, straight into old 57. If you guys are watching the replay, let me know, comment, replay. Um, it's kind of been a long, long time since I've gone live. And that's partly because I always go live at an, a time in the day that people don't have the ability to get on. And I do this alone. Oh, Don't wanna bear. Um, next we do um, so I kind of did like a mix of colors on the other side so I think I'm gonna have to stick to it. I did sandy blonde and um, gravel road. Sort of mixed them. Not like directly, but like first I sort of finger painted on sandy blonde 
then I put gravel road on top of it, so that's what we're gonna do today. So this is why I love this paint. Not toxic, no VOCs, all natural stuff. Not trying to be that hippie person, but it allows me to finger paint safely. Like I'm not really worried about contracting, well, not contracting, but developing, I guess you could say, cancer or whatever. Because as someone who like works with paint a lot, you know, it's kind of a fear. But if you're just a hobbyist, then I don't think you necessarily would have to fear so much. So. We are going to do that. You guys, David comes home soon. Woot woot. Say hello if you're coming on. Anywho, David is coming home. It's very exciting. Super soon, he's flying off the ship. So, no, the ship's not pulling in. He's flying off. So that's really exciting. We're gonna have our, our daddy back for a while. I've been trying really hard to get the house because we just moved in, right? Well, not like just, just, but like a couple months. We were moved in for like a couple months before he left. So we pretty much unpacked everything. I just felt like we didn't organize it. You know, you kind of just throw stuff in a place and you're like, it works for now. And then eventually you're like, that does not work anymore. Can't do it. And that's what happened. So, um, next... I did a dark color. Let me see. Can't remember. Yeah. We did a sailor in the middle. <laughs> so, we're doing geodes. Geodes, which I love geodes. They're great. They're really freaking cool. Ran out, man, what the heck? Paint's getting too thick, it's too cold outside. It's starting to, the viscosity. It's starting to get all crazy. Crazy. I'm a hay sailor. You guys, these little guys are, go such a long way, as you can actually kind of see I've had this pain for so long, it's starting to gunk up. I need to use it, so that's why I'm also using a lot of these blues. Because I have a lot of blues. I need to get used. It's okay, I'm finger painting it, so. Because it's non-toxic paint, oh yeah. Bam. So... way too much. So the other great thing about this paint is it's washable. Like it'll wash off my skin and won't really necessarily dye it, which is great because I have paint all over me all the time. Um, however, it is a very high pigment paint. So if you get on your clothes and your clothes are white, I'm sorry, you just messed up your clothes. So that's why you always wear painting clothes. All right, next we're gonna do some, I think it's cake batter, I believe. Yes, whoa, 
Yes, some cake batter. So cake batter is what my mom likes to call a dirty yellow. Dirty yellow. I kind of like it. But that's next. It's going in the middle. Well, not the entire middle. It's going to go in the significant part of the middle. And I'm finger painting it because who really needs a brush? So I'm moving to my booth on Sunday or sometime next week. And a lot of my furniture is not 100% done. I know, it's like, what have I been doing? Making small progress on a bunch of stuff. I had to clean my house, because if you've been over to my house lately, it's kind of a wreck. So I was like, you know what? I think it's time to stop living like a pig start living like how I used to live so which is just a slightly step up from where I was before so let's not fool ourselves here and that perfect yeah. I think I want more there we go that's cool yes girl yes Bam! Cake batter is in. Last but not least, we're gonna go do some blue iris again for the very, very middle. Blue iris is this really cool cobalt blue. Um, it recently came out in the DIY paints. Um, hasn't been very long. I think it's only been like two, three months. So, so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. Okay. I do in the middle. Swirly swirls. Bam. I know it's not perfect, but this is the first coat. And the first coat always looks like crap. Not gonna lie to you, it always looks like crap. I'm always looking at it like, do I really know what I'm doing? Is this really gonna work out? Yes, yes it will. So my hands are freezing, so I can't really do much now because my hands are freezing. But let me give you a recap of what the other side looks like. Well, actually, instead of you, I'm gonna turn this baby around. what it looks like this really cool geode is what it will look like in the end so you can see oops sorry kind of an awkward situation but as you can see I got lots of glitter because glitter is fun and some gold leafing to add that texture of the rock um, and I had it come up on the corner here because I wanted the top to be just as interesting as the side and I haven't done anything else on this side. If you think, sorry, don't mean to bounce you a lot. That's what she said. If you think that I should do another geode, um, because I'm doing two on the other side, you should tell me in the comments because I'm really on the fence about it. I'm really not sure because like, I kind of like this side. I kind of got like this thing, whatever. I don't know what it is going. Don't know, it was an accident, but it was happy accident. Um, so I was thinking maybe about doing one, like, down here, but anywho, tell me what you think. I'm freezing, I'm gonna go inside, because I got other stuff to do anyways, but thanks for painting with me. I don't know who came on, a couple of you randomly came on, which is great. It makes me feel good that somebody's watching. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be my, uh my shelving unit for my DIY paint. So cool, huh? Goodbye now. I am going inside. It's about to rain. <laughs>